Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Bauke from PH Data, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create report page tooltips in Power BI. In general, tooltips are the things that pop up when you hover over something in a report or a dashboard. Tooltips often give you more specific information about whatever item is being investigated. In this example, I'm going to show you how to add additional layers of context to your data visualizations in Power BI by utilizing report page tooltips. Now, before we start, the technique we're referring to is called report page tooltips because we're going to create a separate report page that will act as our tooltip. So now that we have that cleared up, let's get started. First, let's look at the report we have currently. This report is showing some high level metrics, a trend line and a bar chart for college sports and their revenues. When looking at our breakdown of revenues by conference, it might be helpful to users not just be able to see the conference level, but then the schools associated with that conference. One way that you'll be able to do this is using report page tooltips. Now we're going to create a new report page that will act as our tooltip page. I will name the page school tooltip to indicate the tooltip. So this is the bar chart we're referring to. And as you see right now, it's showing conference revenues. But what I want to be able to do is hover over and see the school revenues associated with each conference. As I said, I'm going to create a new tab and I'm going to name it school TT. That school TT refers to tooltip. So to make this tab a tooltip page, we need to go to the format section of our visualizations pane and we need to click on page information. We need to make sure that our tooltip toggle is turned on and we need to go down to page size and Power BI conveniently has a predetermined size for a tooltip. And you can see that here. To zoom in, you can actually do a fit to page, and this will bring the tooltip page and fit your screen. You can customize the size of your tooltip pages, but for now, we're going to go with the default dimensions for the tooltip. So because our current granularity in our summary page for revenues in our bar chart is at the conference level, what we want to do is create a bar chart for revenues at the school level so that when we hover over this, we're able to see the school revenues. So let's create our bar chart for schools. So first I'm going to click on our bar chart and you can see that this is zoomed in. Well, the reason is, is that this is a smaller size than a normal report page because we are using the default tooltip settings, but we're going to create a uh, visualization just like normal in Power BI. So first we're going to go down and we're going to find our school and we're going to drag that to our axes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go and find our total revenues field and we're going to add it to values. Now you can see that our values are reflecting total revenues and this axis is reflecting our schools. We can come in here and pick some different data colors, but for right now, we'll just go with the default. Now to implement this tooltip, we're going to go back to our executive summary page and we're going to click on the chart that we want to implement the tooltip in. And then we're going to go to the format section of our visualizations pane and scroll down to where you see tooltip. Now toggle on tooltips and you can see that you can click down in the dropdown. Under type, you can click and instead of default, you can choose report page. Default will just give you whatever default tooltip that it had in there, most likely a summary of the axis and the values. But in our case, we want to replace that with the report page. So now that we've clicked report page, I can go down here to page and I can select two different pages that were created down at the bottom as my tooltip. 
we just most recently created school tooltip. So we're going to click on that. And that now is going to be the tooltip when we hover over our bar chart. So now let's go back to this report and let's make sure that when we hover, we see the report page that we just created and we see it right there. Now you can see that we're not exactly able to see all the different conferences in here or all the different schools within the conference, excuse me. So let's just do a quick edit and let's go back to our school tooltip. Now I told you that the page size was set to tooltip and that's going to be a default of 320 pixels by 240. It appears that that is not enough for our current use case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this height to 400. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this bar chart to be just a little bit taller. And I'm going to make it wider so that it fits the entire size. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some data labels just so that when we filter, things might look a bit, little bit better. So let's go back to executive summary and let's hover, hover over the SEC and see what happened. Well, it looks like all of our values now fit within the tooltip. This makes it a lot easier for users to read and digest, especially having the data labels in there as well. So now we're going to add a tooltip to our trend line, just like we did for our bar chart. For our trend line, it's showing the amount of total revenues for all of the schools by year. But what we want to do is we want to be able to drill in just a little bit more and say, where did those revenues come from for each year? So now I already created this view as a report page tooltip. I can show you in the format section of our visualizations pane that my tooltip toggle is turned on. My page size is set to a little bit custom so that I can fit more in here. And then the visualization I've created shows the different sources of revenue for college sports programs throughout the year. That includes ticket sales and donor contributions and institutional support, things like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my executive summary and I'm going to click on my trend line. And I'm going to go over to the format section of my visualizations pane, and I'm going to scroll down to tooltips, which I'm going to toggle on again. If I go down and turn on the report page type, now I'm going to get to choose what tab that I want to use or what report page I want to use as my tooltip. I definitely want to use the revenue source tooltip as indicated by the tab name, and I'm going to click that. And now when I go and I hover over, each year, you can see that it automatically filters that pie chart or that donut chart that I created to see the different sources of revenue. So that is how you create report page tooltips. Now I'm going to show you one last use case of how to use these tooltips. Now that we've used the tooltips to describe schools for the conference level and sources for the different years, using interactions and click filters, we can actually provide users several more layers and granularities of data and visualizations that you might not have been able to offer otherwise. If we go here to 2010 in our, in our trend chart, we can click on 2010 and filter the bottom chart now for the revenues for 2010. If we go and hover over the SEC, we are now able to go and see the schools associated with, with the SEC and their revenues for the year 2010. We're also able to do the opposite. If we come down here and we click on the Big Ten, we're now filtering this trend line for the Big Ten. You're also now able to hover over the year 2010 for the Big Ten Conference and see the sources of those revenues all using report page tooltips. As you can see, report page tooltips are a very valuable tool in your toolkit to be able to provide users another level of granularity and more detail about the data that you're seeing in your report or dashboard.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you found this extremely helpful. If you're looking for more awesome Power BI content, make sure to check out PH Data's blog and YouTube channel for more content just like this. Thanks again. Have a great day.